Hello all, and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before we get started, I'm going to say our blessing. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohim, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and committed us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai Elohim, you sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths and in the mouths of all your people, Israel. May we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed you, Adonai Alehinu, King of the Universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai bestow. Oops. May Adonai make his presence to enlighten you. May be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is John six twenty two through forty. On the next day, the crowd that remained on the other side of the sea saw that there had been only one boat there. And that Yeshua had not entered the boat with his disciples, but that his disciples had gone away alone. Other boats from Tiberias came near to near the place where they had been where they had eaten the bread after the Lord had given thanks. So when the crowd saw that Yeshua was not there, nor his disciples, they themselves got into boats and went to Capernaum seeking Yeshua. When they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Yeshua answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, you are seeking me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give to you, for on him Elohim the Father has sent, set his seal. Then they said to him, What must we do? To be doing the works of Elohim. Yeshua answered them, This is the work of Elohim, that you believe in him who he has sent. So they said to him, Then what sign do you do, that we may see and believe you? What works do you perform? Our fathers ate the manna in the wilderness, as it was written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Yeshua then said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but my Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of Elohim is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. Yeshua said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. But I say to you, that you must, oops, that you have seen me, and yet do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me. And whoever comes to me I will never cast out. For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me. But raise it up on the last day, for this is the will of my Father, that everyone who looks on the Son and believes in Him should have eternal life, and I will raise Him up on the last day. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohinu, King of the Universe, who gave us the Torah of truth and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, giver of the Torah, Bukhat Adonai Elohinu, Malach Alom. Asher nata lenu tredi me baishi elom nata bat tekenu bruketa donai nati natara.